the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 311, John 12 to 13, Jesus and the New Command. Jesus, who loved his disciples and all the people in this world, gave them a new command, which was to love one another. First point. St. John recorded that Jesus stayed in Lazarus' house six days prior to Passover. The story of Mary who poured the perfume over Jesus' feet is recorded in both Matthew and Mark. John added the detail that this incident took place in Lazarus' house six days before Passover. It was at this point that Mary poured expensive perfume over Jesus' feet. When Judas Iscariot saw this, he rebuked her. What he did not know was that she was preparing for Jesus' funeral. Many people started to believe in Jesus after the instant of Lazarus' resurrection. However, this instant was a deadly turning point for the Sanhedrin assembly. The members started to scheme to kill both Jesus and Nazareth. Indeed, their behavior was disgusting. They wanted to kill so that they could maintain their prestige. All they were interested in was to stop the Jews from believing in Jesus. The next day, Jesus entered Jerusalem and thus began the final week of his public life. When Jesus entered it, the crowds shouted and praised Jesus. John recorded that this was because Jesus had resurrected Lazarus. As such, Lazarus' resurrection was a huge instant leading up to Passover in Jerusalem. For the Sanhedrin assembly, Jesus' entrance into Jerusalem was the worst news. Jesus' entrance was the number one news in Jerusalem and there was nothing the Sanhedrin assembly could do about it. Second point, St. John recorded that on the day Jesus entered Jerusalem, a lot of foreign people came to see him. Some of the Greeks, among those who went up to worship during the festival, asked Jesus' disciples whether they would be able to meet Jesus. They had heard news about Jesus and wished to meet him. When Jesus heard this, he decided that it was time to address all the foreign nations. Jesus told them that the time for his suffering was approaching, and he told his disciples to follow him. Jesus then went to pray to God, and a voice from heaven came down to fulfill Jesus' prayer. God revealed his voice so that all the foreign people could hear, and this was to furthermore reveal Jesus' death. However, the people did not understand this. Third point, St. John recorded that despite how the Jews saw many of Jesus' miracles, they still did not believe that Jesus was the Son of God. For three years, Jesus fed, healed, taught, forgave, and prayed for the people. Consequently, there are those who believed Jesus to be Christ, and also those who refused to believe. The fact that there would be many who did not believe Jesus' signs was predicted much earlier by the prophet Isaiah. However, there are the old Pharisees who believed in Jesus. Although they could not publicly state that they believed in Jesus due to the rebuke of the Sanhedrin assembly, there are those who secretly believed. Now, before taking the cross, Jesus addressed the public for the last time. He told the people that he came to the world in order to save all nations. 
Jesus added that those who did not believe in Jesus would be judged. Fourth point, St. John recorded that during the last Passover, Jesus washed all the feet of his disciples. Jesus observed the 1,500-year-old tradition of Passover in the 1,000-year-old Jerusalem with his disciples. He then changed the Passover to the First Holy Communion. After opening communion, Jesus washed the feet of all his disciples. When the disciples ran away, when the high priests arrested Jesus, Jesus let them all go. Despite how they ran away during this moment, thanks to Jesus' education, they became incredibly important apostles after Jesus ascended to heaven. When Jesus washed the feet of his disciples, Peter refused to be washed by Jesus. Then Jesus replied that he and Peter would have nothing to do with each other wise. Afterwards, Jesus spoke about the betrayal of Judas Iscariot through referencing Psalms. This was so that when Judas Iscariot did indeed betray Jesus, the other disciples would come to believe Jesus all the more. Jesus encouraged his disciples for their future spreading of the gospel. Fifth point, St. John recorded that during the Last Supper, Jesus gave his disciples a new commandment. Jesus taught during the Last Supper. He then gave his disciples a new commandment. In the Old Testament, God gave Abraham's descendants a commandment. But now Jesus renewed this commandment and gave it as a mission to his disciples. Jesus renewed the love your neighbor as you love yourself, to love each other as I love you. After this, Jesus predicted Peter's death. Peter was not to follow Jesus to the cross immediately. Although Peter said that he would give his life for Jesus, Peter was to deny Jesus three times. However, Jesus declared that Peter would follow Jesus in the days to come. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.